Sure, it was dangerous work, but you can lose your shirt in any enterprise these days. Johnny and I, we were wholesaling chemicals. Things people use in their everyday life out of a warehouse in Niagara Falls. I'd figured out a few international obscurities which allowed us to cut out a place for ourselves in the market on both sides of the border. I don't intend to mince words about the legality of our adventure. Some would look at it one way and others another. I've heard it said that if a law can't be enforced, it's not a law, and I've always lived by this code. They're foul. Any horse's ass can see that. I saw smaller men than myself, and I'm not tall, driving big black cars with women in ermine coats and fat diamonds. But I've already told this story to a couple of judges and a DA. I have no questions about the letter of the law and red tape. The press lends a lot of sensational color to some of these stories of this type, and I want to try to indicate that we were thinking like your average businessman. At this stage in the game, we were in transport. Lock. Now I believe you. I told you that. It's just there doesn't seem to be any truck out there. You see those skid marks? You're sitting on him. I took a ride and gave him 38 bucks for the trip. I hopped out at the intersection and stood there for a full minute wondering what to do which way to go. As it happened, there was a motel across the street. As far as I could see, everything was screwed and I was stuck out in this border town until morning. My name is Jack Straw, and up until some time a year or so ago, I ran a pharmaceutical outfit with a guy named Johnny Street. As I see it, everybody is looking to do his business, no matter what his creed, color, or national origin. To say the least, some of the old give and take is gone in all corners of the melting pot. Snafus and distribution and restraints of trade and conspiracies to defraud every which way. The big boys in the downtown around the land were keeping tight fists on big bunches of money and everybody had some problems with flow. No cards flashing in certain sections and no Christmas lights in the boardrooms, if you know what I mean. It was all I could do to get two quarters to click in my fist. Never even thought about making ends meet anymore. Street and I had been sitting pretty, though we never counted our chickens until we cracked the shells. Myself, I'd been watching for the bottom to fall out. And I said to myself, here we are. How could this happen? 